Hey everyone, Wax Weirdo here, and I have another new to me vendor. This time it is Luna Wax. Okay, let's go. I made this order quite a bit ago, but it's still relevant and the wax is still delicious. It's just now more cured and ready for um, a more mature smell. Okay, this is Noel de Bleu which is Blueberry Vanilla Bean Noel. And look at Stitch. So cute. He's so cute. Oh, this is lovely. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> look at him. He's sitting. Mm. Mm, it's good. It's a beautiful blueberry. It's candy. It's like a candy blueberry. Almost like a blue raspberry-ness to it. And I get the beautiful vanilla bean Noel, which is hard to get. I just, because I get like the creaminess of it because it's had time to cure. Oh, yeah. Yum. Oh, more little stitcheroos. He's multicolored this time. Yeah, and he's like a Grateful Dead lover or something. Okay, this is a Zucchini Cake Pop. Oh no, Zucchini Cake Loops, which is Fruit Loops, Tea and Cakes, and Zucchini Bread. Mm. I just mostly get Fruit Loops. I don't really detect too much Tea and Cakes. And I get maybe just a hint of zucchini. I really thought that zucchini would uh, make its presence known a little bit more. It's there slightly, but I mean, Fruit Loops is considerately strong. So is zucchini. Yep, it's the lingering. You get, I'm still getting lingeringness in my schnoz of zucchini. That is the lingering note. For sure. Okay, then I have these little shapes that have little skulls on them in ginger ale. I just love me some ginger ale. I know it's plain and simple, but I love to blend it. I love to just melt it on its own. Ugh, it's just such a fizzy pop dream. To me, yeah, it's just a beautiful fizzy pop leaning more into obviously not super gingery because it's not as like spicy. Ginger has a little kick to it. If you've juiced it before or, you know, have pickled juice, pickled ginger with your sush. Mm, God, sushi. So good. To me, this is just a tad brighter than Fizzy Pop. Delicious. Okay, then I wanted to try her house lime blend in Sublimey. And there's little pigs. I'm coming his noses. And his little butt. Let's see how our lime is. I'm super picky about lime. Mmm. It's nice. It's in. Hmm. It's almost the cleanser lime, but it's also the sorbet lime. It's more in the cleanser lime, though, to me which I'm not mad at. It's really good, um, especially after heavily making some food, you know, some dinner that's pretty strong. I love to do lemon or lime or something. So that's what I save these cleansery types for after that. It's perfect. Or when I'm cleaning, it's perfect. Okay, then I have this unicorn in butterscotch rum cheesecake. Yeah, it's very nice. The rum and the cheesecake bring the butterscotch um, to a little deeper caramel level. I'm really getting kind of just a caramel smell from this than necessarily these three notes. So they kind of blend to caramel goodness. It's good. I like I like caramel a lot. I, I have to, oh, I, know, I have another one of these, by the way. Cute. I have to do caramel sparingly. I do like a saltier version better. 
I got another sublimey. Oh, I got another ginger ale. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, and then I got these little sugar skulls shapes in cranberry mallow. Mm. Oh, this is nice. It's really nice. I definitely get the marshmallow. Like I said, these have had time to cure, so. Mm, I get the sweetness from the cranberry, a little bit of the tartness, tanginess, and definite marshmallow. That's a beautiful little combination. Just kind of like if, to me, it's almost a uh, sweet cotton candy vibes, not pink cotton candy, but if cranberry had a cotton candy, this is what it would be like. Okay, then I got a bunny, hello, in key lime jelly beans. And it is a different lime. This lime moves more into the realm of the vinegary, pungent lime than the lime sorbet, which I really like. But it's almost like a mixture of it. It's almost like lime sorbet and that kind of vinegary lime. And it's not like vinegar, but it's the only way I can describe this other lime. If you're familiar with limes, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, and I got a cute little card from Amy, the founder. How cute is that? And she took time out to write. Thank you so much, Andrea. Yeah, my name's Andrea, but I go by Andy. I hope you enjoy everything, Amy. Um, Andrea is not my favorite. <laughs> so all my life. Since I've been little, I've done Andy. This is another Key Lime Jelly Beans. And she sent me, oh, she sent me some samples. Some skull, sugar skull and leaves. Let's just smell her leaves. Mmm. Beautiful, cinnamony, fall-like. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it so much. Um, you know, it's like the harvest type from... Yankee Candle, Love Leaves. Oh my, look at you. Oh, look at little T-Rex and Stag, so cute. This is Insider Donut sample, how adorable. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. I do get the fried donut aspect in here and I do get the apple, lovely. Oh, I got another cranberry mallow. Awesome, I really liked it. And then just a few more things. I got, oh, she sent me this and I had it on its side so it it kind of oozed out, but it wasn't like this when I opened it originally, so that's my fault. This is cranberry fig Himalayan salt scrub. How cool. It smells super nice. Now there's a tartness to the cranberry and that kind of soft figgy note too. That soft body care figgy note. That's really lovely. Dang, I wish I wouldn't have been so careless. And then she also sent me, how cute is this? A moisturizing body spray? How cool. I'm not going to spray that right now, but that's really neat. And then she sent me a sample of ginger ale, which we've already smelled, but look at this owl, his head's tilted. <laughs> and then, oh, I got another butterscotch rum, butterscotch rum cheesecake, and we know that is like a caramelly smell. So I doubled up on a lot of things, apparently, but I am excited to try out this Luna Wax from just the curing. I'm really impressed with her vanilla um, aspect like the donuts I got, the marshmallow I got, the vanilla bean Noel I got. So that is awesome. They're curing or they're cured beautifully. I can't wait to melt and see what it's all about. 